Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. You know folks, it's a jungle out there. And by jungle, I mean, well, sometimes an actual jungle. But also, you know, life. That's right. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of animal camouflage. These cunning creatures have taken hide-and-seek to a whole new level. Get ready to be amazed by these incredible masters of disguise. First up, we've got a creature so stealthy, so committed to its leafy disguise, that you'd be forgiven for thinking it was photoshopped. I'm talking about the leaf-tailed gecko. This reptilian Houdini lives in the rainforests of Madagascar. We're talking skin that looks like bark. A tail shaped like a decaying leaf. Heck, this gecko even has little bumps and notches on its body to mimic the veins on a leaf. The leaf-tailed gecko's incredible camouflage isn't just about looking cool. It's about survival. Whether avoiding predators or setting up the perfect ambush for its own dinner. So, the next time you're strolling through a rainforest, take a closer look. You just might spot a leaf-tailed gecko lurking nearby. Hold on to your hats, folks, because we're diving into the ocean to meet a creature that puts mood rings to shame. I'm talking about the cuttlefish, the chameleon of the sea. These underwater artists can blend in with sand, rocks, coral. You name it, they can become it. They even have these little cells called chromatophores that allow them to flash different colors and patterns, like some kind of underwater disco ball. Cuttlefish don't just change color to blend in. They also use their chromatophores to communicate attract mates, and even hypnotize their prey. So, next time you're lucky enough to encounter a cuttlefish, take a moment to appreciate its incredible camouflage skills. Sometimes, the best way to avoid trouble is to simply not be noticed. And nobody embodies that quite like the stick insect. These insects literally resemble twigs and branches, long slender bodies, brownish green coloration, even knobby bits that look like leaf scars. Predators walk right by, none the wiser. Some species even sway like a twig in the breeze. So next time you're in the forest, take a closer look. It might be a stick insect. the ghost of the mountains. Now, we're heading to the high peaks of the Himalayas to meet a creature as elusive as it is majestic, the snow leopard. This big cat is a true phantom of the mountains, a master of blending in with the rocky, snowy terrain. The snow leopard's secret weapon? It's code, of course. We're talking thick, luxurious fur patterned with large dark rosettes that break up its outline against the snow and rocks. This camouflage helps the snow leopard stalk its prey, which, by the way, can be up to three times its size without being seen. So, the next time you're gazing up at the majestic Himalayas, remember the snow leopard, the ghost of the mountains, perfectly adapted and practically invisible. the octopus shape-shifting escape artist. Hold on to your tentacles, folks, because we're about to meet a creature so skilled in the art of disguise, so adept at disappearing into thin water that it would make Houdini jealous. I'm talking, of course, about the octopus, the shape-shifting escape artist of the sea. These underwater contortionists can blend in with sand, rocks, coral. You name it, they can become it. They have these specialized pigment sacs called chromatophores that allow them to flash different colors and patterns 
and they can even change the texture of their skin to match their surroundings. So the next time you're lucky enough to encounter an octopus, take a moment to appreciate its incredible camouflage skills. Chapter 6 The Pygmy Seahorse Tiny Master of Coral Camouflage Sometimes, folks, the best way to hide is to be so small, so perfectly camouflaged, that you practically disappear. And nobody knows this better than the Pygmy Seahorse, the miniature master of coral camouflage. These little guys are so small, we're talking less than an inch long, that they can practically disappear into the coral reefs they call home. The Pygmy Seahorse's skin is covered in tiny bumps and tubercles that perfectly match the color and texture of the coral they live on. So, the next time you're lucky enough to go scuba diving in the coral reefs, keep your eyes peeled for the Pygmy Seahorse. Chapter 7, The Chameleon, Color Changing Icon. Some creatures are so good at camouflage, so synonymous with blending in, that their names practically become verbs, and no creature embodies that more than the chameleon, the color-changing icon of the animal kingdom. Chameleons don't change color to blend in with their surroundings, at least not primarily. They change color to communicate, to regulate their body temperature, and to attract mates. So, the next time you see a chameleon, Take a moment to appreciate its incredible color-changing abilities. Chapter 8 The Leaf Insect Nature's Walking Foliage We're talking about a creature so committed to its leafy disguise, so dedicated to the art of deception, that it makes a stick insect look like an amateur. The leaf insect, you see, is a master of disguise a true champion of blending in. These insects take the phrase, you are what you eat, to a whole new level by literally resembling leaves. Some species can even sway back and forth, mimicking the movement of a leaf in the breeze. So the next time you're walking through the forest and think you see a leaf, take a closer look. It just might be a leaf insect. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed our little journey into the world of animal camouflage. Remember folks, the next time you're feeling lost in the crowd, just think of these amazing creatures. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more amazing animal facts. And be sure to let me know in the comments which creatures camouflage skills you thought were the most impressive. See you next time.